It's recording. Good. Yep. So yep. it is Wednesday, July 15th, 2020, uh, 732 PM. Uh, this is the meeting of the town of Weathersfields Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission. Uh, it is a public meeting and it is a virtual meeting in accordance with the governor's executive order regarding the current pandemic that we're in. Uh, at this point in the meeting, uh, we have a uh, segment for general comments. So public comments of a general nature may be addressed to the commission at this point in time. So if anybody's here and would like to provide a general comment, they may do so. Yeah, I didn't get any calls or emails. So. Okay, so we got no other comments. Uh, moving on to the public meeting portion of our meeting. We have application number 723-20. Matthew Babair, uh, 268 Brimfield Road, it's parcel number 178-068. It's the application for removal of a single car garage in construction of a two car garage within a regulated area. And with us tonight to present the application is- uh... Uh, Kevin Johnson. Okay. Uh, for the record, close Jensen and Miller. Um, so, the subject property is located on the south side of uh, Brimfield Road. Uh, it's a residential lot. It's about uh, one third acre plus or minus in size. Uh, there's no wetlands on the property, uh, but there is a hundred year floodplain, uh, but there is no base flood elevation associated uh, with that floodplain, according to FEMA uh, mapping. Uh, as mentioned, uh, the proposal is to remove uh, an existing single bay garage, uh, replace it with a double bay garage. Uh, the proposed garage will be located uh, a little further back uh, in the rear yard. Um, to accommodate that uh, garage, there is some uh, regrading of the existing driveway. Uh, the location where the former garage is uh, and the remaining grassed area. Um, the regrading results in an increase in flood storage of approximately 13 uh, cubic yards. Uh, we're also incorporating a dry well uh, in the rear yard uh, behind the house. Uh, the purpose of the dry well is to infiltrate uh, stormwater runoff uh, and, and drainage from uh, the garage roof. Um, we do have full erosion controls around the perimeter of the, uh, the rear yard. Uh, we do have a construction entrance on the driveway. A portion of the existing driveway will be saw cut, removed, uh, and the uh, anti-tracking pad installed. Uh, there were town engineering comments. Uh, there was two memos. There was one dated uh, July 2nd. Uh, we responded to those. There was uh, an additional memo from July 9th, which we also responded to. Um, it, to my knowledge, uh, and there was an email uh, from the uh, town engineer that he had no further comments uh, on the proposal. Um, so just in that, that's about the extent of the activity. Uh, just in summary, again, there's no wetlands on the property. There, there is a floodplain. Um, there, there's no base flood elevation established for this. Um, I, I should mention, um, we did do surface modeling of the existing surface, uh, and then also uh, surface modeling for the proposed condition. Um, so comparing those, that's how we came up with 13 additional cubic yards of flood storage. So at this point, I'll try and answer any questions the commission may have. Uh, Kevin, will the proposed drywall function as a yard drain as well? There is a surface swale that's directed there. It, it's going to take some of these, yeah, surface runoff from the driveway in front of the garage. Okay. And, and again, as I mentioned, uh, and one of the comments uh, was the town engineer, um, you know, to, to either swale or uh, pipe the uh, roof downspouts to the dry well, and, and we chose to pipe it. Um, I have a question. Just, just out of curiosity, uh, 
have there been any any flooding down there at all? I've been here a lot of years and I don't remember anything, but are you aware of anything? Uh, personally, I am not aware of it. No. Um, was was this changed? I know FEMA did re, redid their flood uh, maps a while back. Was this changed then, or has this been always? What was what changed? The limits of the floodplain? Yeah, right. I mean, involving this particular property. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I believe it yeah. was basically yeah, always there. We we, we, okay. we did a uh, elevation certificate back in 2013. Yeah. Um, that was attached with the application. Um, right. FEMA didn't remove the house, the structure, um, but again, it, uh, when you look at that certificate, um, th there was no base flood elevation given. Right. Right. Okay. Thanks very much. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Anybody have any other comments on the application? Uh, yes, should we be worried that there's been no perk test done? I mean, when the volume of the drywall, uh, it, it's going with no outlet, will it just overflow or, or, or should we can be concerned with that? It, it, it's a 900 gallon drywall. Um, it, if, it was, if it was to fill up, it, it would just go surface overflow. It's really in there, you know, to mitigate for any flow to the abutting property to the west. Thank you. It's got all erosion controls. Okay. Does anybody have any other comments on the application? Do we have a motion to approve the application? I can make a motion if you'd like. Uh, move to approve application number 723-20, Matthew Bobair, 268 Burntfield Road, parcel number 178068, which is an application removal of a single car garage and construction of a two car garage within a regulated area. And do we have a second for that? I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? We'll put it to a vote. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So that passes. Thank so good you, luck. Commission members. Yeah, good luck on the garage and, and you guys don't have to stick around if you don't want to. Okay. Thank Aye. you. So you're Thank welcome. You. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. Stay safe. You too. I didn't, did I close all that? All right, going back. There we are. Okay, so moving on to the Conservation Commission business portion of the meeting. Uh, do we have an update from you, Don? On no, the, uh, we're, we're still chipping away at the inventory book. Okay. It's, that's as time allows, we do that. That's good. And then the organizational portion of the meeting, we can move on to that. Um, the nomination and election of a chairman. Does anybody want to be chairman? <laughs> There's only a handful of us here. Well, see, but, I'm trying to get off mute. No, I, I think. I, this is Lou, I personally like things the way they are and I suggest that James Cobbold continue with uh, the position of chairman. I, I will second that, Lou. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're quite welcome. Seeing no other nominations, should we put that to a vote? Sure. All in favor? Aye. 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 
opposed, so that passes. Uh, nomination and election of a vice chairman. Uh, well, I, I move to continue uh, with the president administration and have Brian continue as our vice chairperson. He's done an excellent job in the last couple of months. <laughs> no, he's really. <laughs> So, and this is Lou. I, I, I so okay, he's been doing good. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put it to a vote with uh, Brian as nomination for vice chair. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that passes. Uh, moving to authorization of Mr. Derek Greger and Mr. Don Moisa to sign notices of the commission. Uh, so I think we just vote on this. So all in favor of this authorization? Aye. 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 And then moving on to item four, which is appointment of Mr. Don Moisa as our designated agent of our commission. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Moving on to the general business portion of the meeting. Uh, we have approval of our minutes. So we can go to the minutes section of the meeting packet. That's at the back. So I didn't have any edits, did you? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Does anybody have any markups or edits? Do we have a motion to approve the the minutes as uh, presented? Yeah, I motion to approve as as they exist. Yes. Okay. And we have a second on that. Second. So all in favor? Aye. 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 So that passes. And then Don, there was no correspondence, is that correct? Right, no, no correspondence. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then do you wanna give us an update on the, the regulations? Uh, yeah, we, uh, I sent, a, sent them off to DEP last week. And okay. so we'll have a public hearing on August 19th at the regular, regular meeting on August 19th. We scheduled a public hearing. I'll be putting a notice notices in the papers and stuff in the coming week. And is that done at the same 7.30 time or do we do the public hearing at seven? I've, it's been forever since we've done a public hearing. Um, usually always start at 7.30, start to meet okay. Do the public hearing and then if you if you close the, close the public hearing, then you can go into a regular regular meeting afterwards. Okay. And then the regulations, uh, in summary, all the edits that are being put up for approval are to bring the regulations up to uh, current DEP uh, model regulation text. So we're incorporating that as well as incorporating uh, some edits that will better dovetail the wetland regulations to the planning and zoning regulations to kind of streamline our approval process uh, so that, you know, if an application just has to go to planning and zoning and doesn't have inland wetlands on the property, then they can get an erosion control certification through that board instead of having two applications and the time associated with that. And also the name change is being incorporated as well. So when the commission name changed last year, we're incorporating that. I think that's in, in summary, that's all the edits, right, Don? Pr pretty much, and then we added the low impact development definition and uh, you know, yep. the, for the general stormwater permit. To ship. And that's another DEP permit that the town has to operate in accordance with its stormwater system. I think that's it. Does anybody have anything else? 
I'd just like to, uh, as a member of the commission, express my thanks to Don for all the hard work that he does on our behalf. You know, these new regulations, he did a lot of work on them, uh, mm -hmm. you know, bringing them together and getting them presented to the various, you know, people. So I, I think that's great. And I think it's just the way he's worked all along. So I want to express my appreciation. I'm sure the rest of you feel the same way. Thank Absolutely. You. That that last, you know, round of edits that came through, I was like, wow, there's a lot of a lot of work that went into it. Thank you. So thank you, Don. And then one question I had um, logistically with this this format is how do you how do, how do you properly recuse yourself from an application if one of us has to? Do we like drop off of the meeting and then rejoin, or do this this could be a question for Trish, but. Mm -hmm. Or do we just shut off our camera and shut off our audio? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I never thought of that. You know, mute ourselves and then. Yeah. Has it happened in P and Z at all, where somebody's had to recuse themselves? I, I don't know. I can let's check around. Yeah, we'll, we'll look into it and see if there's okay. how, how to go about that. Just in case something comes up and one of us has to. Yeah. You know if we would ever have an in-person meeting again or i don't know i haven't heard you know, no i haven't heard when that if it's ever going to happen again you know oh uh, okay so this could be the new normal for a while anyways is this working out for everybody or any yeah, troubles I mean, it's fine by me in person would be great but i understand the situation and this is Fine by me for now. Yeah, frankly, with my age and the number of conditions, I'm very happy that we're doing it this way right for now. And, um, you know, for my own spots, until there's a vaccine, um, I'm just as happy doing it this way. I, I think it's it's working okay, you know? Yep. I, and, I, yep. and the digital submissions, I do like to get in a PDF. So that's kind of nice. It saves on the amount of paper. Um, but yeah, Dan, if you could look up that, you know, the proper way to do that, that yeah. would, just in case the, the need arises. I was thinking about that over the weekend. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. With that, uh, we can adjourn the meeting. Do we have a, a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. I move to adjourn. <laughs> Second. So, Okay, Brian's not gonna, good. All right, so the Brent uh, first did it, or motioned it, and then Brian seconded it. And so all in favor? Aye. Aye. And that's it. Thank you guys. So take care. Good night. We'll see, see you guys soon. Have a good, have a good weekend. Good